All pants. Well, guys, welcome to Voted Up. We're going to keep it uh, brief. There's one very important Voted Up uh, problem to get to today from episode 107, the problem of Texas legal myths. Oh. This is the idea that if you are in the state of Texas, you can invent fun laws to either uh, kill people or perhaps put them in prison. In prison for yes. making fun of you. For making fun of you. Well, that's obviously one of the most important Texas laws that we know. That's what this is. Eric knows who Riley is. Mm -hmm. He knows that he's making fun of him. He was on Nick Riccati's show. Can we be clear? Not okay. Not he everybody. Knows he's goofing around. Not everybody is infinitely on Twitter. So to make the situation clear, Riley, there was a Ripaverse meetup at a bar. Riley announced his intention to go there and be a goofball, stand outside the building. Classic Alex Stein bit. Classic Stein. A lot bit. of Stein. Classic Stein. I know bit. Stein doesn't want to be involved in this, but Stein, no, you're, you're involved, motherfucker. You're a Blaze employee. <laughs> you get away with certain things. Everyone cheers it on. Everyone goes, "Good on Alex Stein." Yeah. For going to that thing and yelling at those people. Yeah. And then Riley goes, "I'm going to go to a thing and yell at people." And people yeah. go, "That's off limits." I learned it from watching you, Dad. I learned it from oh, watching there you. Oh, there he is. There he is with Alex Stein. Isn't that cool? Here's your guys. Wow. Do you want to play what's your favorite part of ISO? Or I give you a deluxe ISO comic. Do you answer your favorite part? Yes. Yes. All right. We're here with Alex Stein playing a round of what's your favorite part of Iceland, everybody's favorite Dallas comic book. I have copies here, and you will win one of your choice if you tell me what your favorite part is. My favorite part is there's a part where there's a truck that looks like an F-250, and I love Ford trucks. So. <laughs> <laughs> Alex Stein yeah. wins the game. Alex Stein wins. I have three copies of Iceland, one of the which, which one is the most exclusive Iceland? Well, actually, how about this, bud? This one, Ice Room 2, has yeah. the most of the truck in it. Oh, it does? Okay, then I'll take it. <laughs> has the most <laughs> truck. That's true. A lot of That's truck true. over two. He's a lore master. Yeah, Why isn't Alex calling the cops right now? I'm That's confused. weird. He looks, he's smiling. Yeah, yeah, I don't get it. Why is he not calling the police? He's doing a game show kind of bit here. Shouldn't he be running in terror? Yeah. Shouldn't he be screaming in fear? Uh-huh. So this is what Riley was doing outside the event. Now, look, I can understand that maybe this is uh, annoying to Eric July. Yeah. A little thorn in his side. Ooh, that Riley. God, if, he only, if only he had just come out and said, hey, what's up, man? Yeah, you're, hey, what are you you're doing? fucking around. Get yeah, out of here. Get out of here, you punk yeah. ass uh, little bitch. You better watch it. You better watch it. You better watch yourself. Instead, uh, Eric sent out uh, uh, laser eyes. The guy with the cr the guy with one eye, yeah. one eye on tomorrow, and the ultimate hustler, and one eye on yesterday. <laughs> he's, uh, Brandon, he's got one eye on today and one eye on tomorrow, right? Yeah. This guy, okay. this guy, that's pretty good. <laughs> what, who, who's firing, right? Yeah. Oh God, F boys, sir. <sighs> so uh, yeah, Riley was outside this event. Uh, you know, they said, "Hey, can you go away?" And he said, "I believe I have the free speech right to uh, right protest and troll this event." Who's got a picture of Brandon uh, trying to intimidate Riley? There was a video of that, I believe. Oh yeah, who's uh, got that video? Pop it in here. The police. Pop were it in here, boys. And uh, now, typically, a situation like this, I don't know if Riley was on private property or not. I don't actually know how no. the rules were. Uh, the rules are: first of all, was Supreme, that a strip mall? Supreme Court says malls are. Public property. That's what I looked up, and that's what it seemed like. You can. But I've seen people get trespassed. You can get trespassed. You can get trespassed from trespass. the immediate. Yeah. Well, however, I was however, say. the bar owner talked to Riley and said, "You're fine." Really? And and uh, stand, you know, in stand the parking lot over here, and you're in. in well, I think a parking in the lot. Zone. I think a parking lot is considered public property. I don't think they uh, can trespass you from a parking lot. lot. Well, they can. They can eventually. Because okay, like if the homeless people can't go sleep in the mall parking sure, lot. Sure. Fair enough. But Walmart that's the point, lot. is, like, if this situation, look, you call the cops, and if the cops show up and go... The bar owner said it's fine. Yeah. So who? So he's not even trespassed. Eric or Nerdrotic's wife. Only the bar owner can trespass you, because he has a legitimate interest in the property. Uh, Yeah. Someone associated with the property is the only person who has the authority to trespass. But you. what happened is, the cops arrived. Right. Um, And I talked to an actual police officer. Riley about went for their gun. Riley jumped for their gun. <laughs> Which is a Riley classic. Riley whipped out his scissors. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, the cops arrived. Riley was talking to them for a little bit, and then the cops ran his ID and discovered that he had a warrant. What? A secret warrant. A warrant that he didn't know about for his arrest. Uh, yeah, for his no, arrest. That can't be. So they arrested him. They took him in. Oh my god! And then Hold after on. he was arrested, yeah. mint salads in the parking lot. This fucking super freak. 
creep, small teethed, rip averse guy. Small teeth. Comes out <laughs> and starts gibbering at her about what's your favorite part of ISOM. Super fucking creepy. Okay. Did you see that? No, I didn't see that. I missed that Mint's part. Mint's trying to figure out what happened, and this guy comes over. That's when I said, hey, Alex, why don't you go outside and help Mint? Because this- uh, the creepo is uh, bothering her. Yeah. Mm. Uh, that could, it could be a rapist. I don't know. He's got them small teeth. Something's going on. That's What he's doing is not good. If you're a black guy and you're an adult and you're following a white woman into a dark parking lot, something's wrong with your brain. Was, you should have learned uh, not to do that by well, now. Well, I saw people and they're like, oh, why are you so worried about mint salad? You must know that she's uh, an autistic victim. I said, no, she's a woman. Yeah, they're At all, night. they're totally obviously I'm worried. Obviously, I'm worried for a, <laughs> Why don't let them go anywhere by a themselves? A dumb woman in a parking lot. And I'm mint, you're not dumb. You're, just, you're equally dumb to any other woman. Uh, so Riley had a warrant for his arrest, so he must have committed a vile crime in the yeah. state of Texas for which he is now. And I assume that would be, uh... Watch, here's Eric. I mean, just judge uh, him. Oh, okay, this is here's, Brandon. Here's the guy. Here's the rip employee that is, quote, afraid for his safety, right? Well, all the employees are afraid for their safety. Have you seen the size of those scissors, Dick? Want to get them shot yeah, they're massive. Look, here he comes, right? This is, a, this is a guy who's afraid for his safety, right? Right. This is what he, this is what Eric told the police. Look at Riley. Uh, go ahead and message the girls if you want to give them shot. No person on earth has ever been afraid of their safety. No offense, Riley, but mm -hmm. no one's ever been afraid for their safety around Riley. Here you go. I'm gonna pull the you see that? You see this? He's Hiking up, up, up the pants. He's pulling up. He's pulling up his little, he's his little he diapers here. He's pulling here. up his diapers in there, but he's he's pulling up in more ways than one. Showing off his fruity shoes. He's here. wearing look a pull at, up. Look at this. Yeah. this. Did these come in a tricks box? Look at these shoes. Well, Twinkle toes those here. Are some fresh kicks. I don't know what you're talking. In the black community, that's very important. To have fresh. Oh, kicks. are they still? Are they on pink now? Are they back you to know, purple? The colors, they go pink, the purple, colors pink, change purple. constantly. Look at this move, man. This is most. This is the most threatening you could be. Why is he not wearing a Ripperverse T-shirt? I'm confused. Because <laughs> they're all. Everybody else there is wearing a fucking Ripperverse T-shirt. Man, oh man. All right, he's pulling up. Look at he's this. Pulling he's up. literally pulling up his pants. He's pulling up. This is like Randy fucking Leahy yeah. <laughs> taking his Meanwhile, pants off to fight. Meanwhile, Riley. Okay, I do have to point this out because somebody pointed out uh, this out to me. I think on the top there, Riley's giving money away. Riley's doing a game show. A bit. That comic on top comics. is like the uh, the version of ISOM that's like super exclusive, like the hundred dollar version. Yeah, they should be happy. He's just giving it away. Yeah, they're. You see how angry they are. Brandon is keyed up and angry. Eric is inside, seething and fat. <laughs> Eric has sent him out to yeah. take care of it. This is like Darren Taking Fontino and one of his henchmen. This is some, this is Darren. Very Captain Darren Dickless. Light. This is a Darren Fontana move. Darren would call the cops Yo. on Isom. Isom would never call the police. Captain Dickless, get over here. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, Eric? <laughs> yes, Eric? No, over here, right? Yeah. yeah oh, yes, Eric, over here? No, I'm over here, Dickless. <laughs> Oh yeah, oh. Where, where, I can't just I look can't into the focus. look at pick one eye. Can you hold your finger pick up so I can focus inward on it? Hold my hand. Yeah. I ain't gonna hold your hand. <laughs> right? Oh, I'm uh, tired go already. The girls, if you want to give them shots, I'm gonna pull the park. You got a basketball. Bouncing. I'm giving out ice socks. You gotta bounce, bro. All in his face. You gotta bounce. Who, mama? Very I can't see. It's hard to that's laugh. That's called. Yeah. That's called uh, assault. What you just witnessed there. I don't know. I do. That's it's a assault? menacing gesture. Menacing. Yes. Mm. Running up on somebody, you got to bounce, bro. Yeah. That's assault. I want to laugh at the situation. It's assault, brother. I want to, but there's just something about it. You're so deeply like affected by it. You want to deflect onto mountains and shit. What is the deal? I guess because. Uh, it's very awkward the Why? way these people act. Just, they're evil. They're bad. Yeah. Well, they're... They secretly called the police and supplied them with fake information to get a warrant on Riley. I think then that's they, what we should Then they challenged Riley about. to show up at the event right. and then had him arrested. Well, they told the cops to look for a warrant that they knew right. existed. Well, okay, That's what so, Eric did. So when initially when he was arrested, I was like, well, what happened? Did they try to trespass him? And Riley said, I'm not leaving. You know, like, what happened? And nothing. Then, nothing. Yeah. They showed he didn't up know and he had said, a warrant. there's a warrant out for your arrest. And then the details of the warrant came to light. And, uh, 
Well, remember that warehouse situation where a man showed up and he put stickers on a door and he had, you know, I said on this on Twitter, I never thought I'd see the phrase giant novelty scissors in a police report, yeah. like seriously, uh -huh. as an example of menacing behavior. You just want all this to go away, don't you? Well, I don't want, yeah, I don't want Riley to go to prison. Yeah. What do you mean? Um, I all I ever wanted. Look, I've said the only thing I find inter what I find interesting about this is a man wrote a really shitty comic, and it's fun to go through how shitty the comic is. That's fun for me. Yeah, this doesn't make the comic this any isn't better. Fun yeah, well, that's the other thing. It's like Nick Riccati getting arrested does not mean Eric July's comic, comic is better. good. Riley getting arrested does not mean the comic is good. Comic still sucks. And all these Ripperverse guys are going, we win, we win, we win. And it's like that's fuck around and find <laughs> out. <laughs> Fuck around and you'll call the police? Yeah, that's right. That's right. You fuck around, we call the police. We call the police. I just wanted to critique You fuck comics. around, we call 911. Yeah. Right. I don't know how we've gotten to this. I didn't know how. I don't know how we've gotten to the point of arrests, of lawsuit threats, of just general jibba jabba. We've always been there. What are you talking about? What do you mean, what am I talking I've been about? been sued. Over comic shit? This makes over, no fucking sense. Over gayer than comic well, shit. I guess it was gayer than guy. You got sued over, over, over iTunes fucking over comedy Cuck albums. Carols. <laughs> <laughs> well, according to a certain uh, internet rabble rouser, you deserved all that, and we should listen to uh, Maddox's. Now great Noel's saying the the Maddox documentary yes, yes. is good. Actually, actually, actually Maddox made a lot actually, of good he's points. Made some good points. Uh, do you want to read this uh, this warrant here? This is the warrant. Not that if was... it's going to traumatize you. I'm not trying. I mean, you're not comfortable with talking about this. I can tell. I don't know how to process it. I an never... evil guy. An e uh, uh, but I didn't realize Darren the Fontaine depth. Fontaine I did the depths of the evil. Like when I, when this first started off, I, I did was like, right away. I went Eric July. I did right is dumb. away. I said he's mm -hmm. dumb and his comics bad, and I'll make fun of it, and that's it. Nope. I did not. I could not. Tony from Hack the Movies and his giant fucking head decided to create this situation, and I don't know what to do Eric's with it. He's a bad guy. I said right at the right at the beginning, he's a bad fucking he's guy. He's like comically bad. He's like comically evil. Selling half price comic books, pocketing money, giving kids worthless charity, worthless comic books. Bad fucking guy. I didn't. I, bad guy. I'm a. I'm that meme. I'm a. What do you call it? Day sex. I never asked for this. I didn't ask for this. I don't know what that is. It's a, just a guy saying that line. I think you can piece it together. Uh, uh, okay. Riley showed up to July's place of employment with large novelty scissors and later placed the provocative defaced dollar bills on his windows. Provocatively July, defaced. July felt physically threatened and feared for the safety of his employees. Can I remind uh, everyone that the dollar bill said, ignore these super chats, bitch, and were a reference to the fact that Riley super chatted at Eric I think calling him a bitch probably. Yeah. Eric wouldn't read them on stream. Yeah. And so he said, these are real life super chats. You cannot ignore them because they are pasted to your uh, your, your building and easily removed. What were they? Scotch taped on there? Just you know what them happened off. after Riley made that video? What? Eric uh, bullied his way onto Nick Riccati's stream. Yes. Bragged about how he wasn't afraid. Right. And Nick Riccati said, if you're not afraid, you have um, no case. You have no case. Right. Then Eric told the cops the next day, that he was afraid for him and his employees' safety. Was that the date? Are those the timestamps? Eric July, yeah. the day after talking day to after. Nick Riccata. Oh, yeah. Uh, I would have prayed. So he did take Nick Riccata's legal advice. He did. Nick Riccata said, <laughs> yeah. He said, well, you have to say you're afraid. Oh, that's well noted. I, when I am interacting yeah, with uh, law enforcement, Nick is the, is the perchance rock star I lawyer. will. Yeah, he is. He, he's the only legal advice that Eric July ever followed. All right, that's good. Hello, police officer. I am uh, very afraid of this man and his large scissors. If you could please do something about that. Efficient, uh, physically threatened. Yeah. By the way, these are the guys online posting about how Riley stinks. Mm -hmm. And that, and that they're going to air him out, he, and that they're going to murder him. They can't be afraid of him because they, of course, pull have up and I'll murder firearms you. and a armed security. Apparently, everywhere I go, I carry even when it's illegal. Yeah, I'm muscular and all, buff. All those you warehouse are. shelves are empty because that's where they're going to store their weaponry the next time uh, Riley comes through. They're weaponizing their forklifts, their scissor lifts. As, You're going to make as put speak. it like barbed wire and stuff on mm -hmm. it, like Mad Max. Yeah. Officiant spoke to July and he informed uh, Affiant that Riley initially posted a video of himself on Twitter stating he was going to come to Texas and hold July down while he shaved him. 
Call the police. Damn, you gotta, oh, you gotta put a stop to that. Which July disregarded, yeah. especially since he claimed Riley's Twitter account got suspended after July reported him to the platform. Mm. Oh, so you did report him? You're lying about that mm-hmm. long, for a long time. Mm-hmm. Reported him. That's why I DMCA his store. DMCA his store and uh, got his Twitter taken away. He had a lot of followers. He lost a lot of reach because of that. Destroyed his business. You know that? Uh, he destroyed uh, his business. If anyone has a credible claim to having their business destroyed, it was Riley. Losing your Twitter account's a big deal. I almost uh, killed myself when I lost my Twitter account, as we all remember. However, once Riley actually showed up to July's place of employment with large novelty scissors and later placed the provocative. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Affiant browsed the open source internet and located the Twitter handle, see you next time, which had published a picture of Riley holding out the large novelty scissors. Did the cops put this in there? Because they're like, look, this is the goofiest fucking thing ever. No, Eric just sent them this. This is what, but no, they're reporting on what he said to them. Eric said to them. Yeah, so the cops, but the cops are constantly using the phrase large novelty scissors, which almost feels like they're trying to communicate to the judge, look, this we, guy's know, an idiot. we know we have to put out a harassment complaint because uh-huh. like, we're legally obligated to, but this is the stupidest thing we've it's ever joke, come across. It's right? Right. Yeah. Uh, officially showing yeah. Riley at the Ripiverse oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. warehouse. So he was. Which also included another post from Riley's uh, account published on September 26th, physically showing Riley at Ripiverse Publishing with the aforementioned dollar bills. Taped behind him to the business windows. The business windows. Business windows. Here's the evidence, of course. We can see. Look, can you go to the scissors real quick? Real quick. Those are those are sharp. You catch an edge on one of those? He's doing a re- uh, cutting right Brutus the Barber and bone. beefcake reference, yes, yes. which Eric knows. I don't know if he does. Uh, he knows. Okay. Larry, he, you think he's he young. Larry Shungite? He's a younger guy. Nah, he knows. Okay. Uh, Affian also screen captured the below post published in October. Eric's been feeding the cops info for months. He's working in league with law informant, enforcement. Criminal informant. Shouldn't a superhero handle uh, handle business privately? I thought the whole point was we can't You know trust why he can't write heroes? Because he because of this. doesn't understand the fundamental function of a hero. To yeah. Bravely handle business like a man. From Riley that acknowledged he was aware July had taken precautions and reported the incident to the police and highlighted the evidence portion. Uh... Which the dollar bills, the dollar bills he evidence. left on the on Do you the think uh, Eric uh, put the dollar bills in like little plastic bags and wrote evidence on them to hand maybe, them over to the cops? Maybe. Know? Are they in an evidence locker? Or maybe right he now? was like, oh, you could fingerprint them. I didn't touch them. <laughs> <laughs> There's an evidence locker right now with, he a, bunch sent of, them with a bunch of bunny stickers in it. Eric sent the police highlighted tweets. Well, look. No. Look at this. It's a month late. What you guys doing? It's been two weeks. It's been two weeks. They're still making fun of me. What is this? Uh, yeah. Okay. Affian later received correspondence from a Ripperverse publishing personnel that included the following screenshot of Riley publishing a picture of July's home on a post in which he was tagged July's Twitter account published on November 16th while indicating that he might escalate things way too far very soon. Mm-hmm. He was going to buy the Riley was going to buy the entire housing development and turn it into a he was going to strip mine Hazard County. It's a lot going on. <sighs> Those scissors, man. MLS list. Those man. scissors. Lock, lock me up. MLS.com. MLS. Docs everyone in America. Yeah. Okay, so, uh, and is that the, uh, is there anything left here? I don't know. Avian obtained a search warrant. Yeah. And for the electronic customer data. Oh, wow. So they're trying to get access to his Twitter account. And confirmed that the account belonged to Riley. Okay. Whose identity was verified through accurate records in the Regional Organized Crime Information Center's Criminal Intelligence Unit. Fascinating. Based on the aforementioned facts, information, Affian has probable cause to believe that, uh, and does believe that on or about September 26, Riley committed the offense of harassment. So they're saying the warehouse was harassment. Mm-hmm. A misdemeanor B. When he, when he, with the intent to harass, annoy, alarm, abuse, torment, or embarrass the victim. This is Texas, So he right? annoyed or embarrassed the victim. Aaron July. I would think this law is written for something else. I thought that you could, like, protest a thing you think is stupid, especially a business. Especially a guy who ruins your business. Yeah. You're allowed to stand outside and say, I'm not economically viable, I, right? This guy's a goof. This uh, He's comics suck. He ruined my business. Yeah. He flagged me for no reason. I thought you had a free speech right to do that. But according to Texas legal myths, yeah. uh, I guess these are Texas legal truths that you can uh, 
you can call the cops on a man with big scissors and stickers. Okay. And put him in jail. Riley right. had to be in jail for two nights. What was that about? Because the judge doesn't show up. Yellow Flash was gloating about that. Another, right -wing another guys, really man. bad guy. Another really bad guy. I don't know how Yellow Flash is still uh, uh, saying that woman has sex with dogs. I'm like, what are you? These guys are, are making doing? big mistakes. Well, big mistakes. Well, and guys, big mistakes take a while to catch up to you, but yeah. when they do, they really hit hard. Like calling my mountains 3D. That was mm -hmm. a blunder. It's almost on par with this. I'm gonna say. Basically, almost All right, equal. Well, we'll cheer you up. Almost you a little like bit this. equal. It's not funny. It is funny. I mean, it's, it's not funny though because you're so like, I don't know, affected by it or something. You're not having fun. How do we make you have fun? I don't think there's any fun I left. I, saw you in my sleep. I don't think there's. I don't think. I think the fun I part is over. It's not happening to you. That's you know, what I'm worried about. Riley. I don't like it happening to Riley. I think the fun is done. What do you mean? I think it's just war, I man. I think I think this never ends. I think we're. You are getting a little like fed posty on. Didn't you say the gloves were coming the on? The gloves are on. Oh, it's man. your Italian shits coming out. What's what are the gloves off me? I am surrounded by evil on all sides. <laughs> I'm surrounded by agents of darkness, and not just because they're black. I. I think something's going to happen. What do you mean? I don't know. What's going to happen? I don't know. I can't predict that. I can't know what the future holds. But I can know in my heart that good will win. <laughs> and I believe that. I don't think you believe that. I think we got a chance. All right, why don't you do your problem first? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Something to, you know, Something, a little bit spirits. of levity. A little bit of levity. Maybe you're just so full of rage. There's a lot of anger. <laughs> I see that. There's a lot of... <laughs> How do you lot. feel about Eric July and Yellow Flash retweeting a thread calling Mint mentally handicapped and that she's being abused by Riley and Riley can't respond legally because he's facing uh, jail time? Accusing him of uh, sex trafficking. Sex uh, trafficking. Yeah, that's a crime. That's specifically... That's specifically definition. accusing him of a felony sex crime. What do you think about that? Yellow yeah. Flash and Eric July retweeting it re multiple times. Retweeting it, retweeting it, retweeting it, and then going, Oh, God, I really hope God can... I really pray to God that this can be... Like, you know you know that that's a lie. And you know that you put Riley in jail on purpose. Yeah. And you're praising God to your cult of freaks and sycophants. Aren't you? I know, I know we're a comedy podcast. I get it. Yeah. It's hard, man. Sometimes it's hard. Can you put that into words? Let me think. Uh, no. I don't know. What do you mean? Not without breaking the terms of service, you mean? Not without breaking the TLS. <laughs> I can tell you that. <laughs> and, 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 and anyway, guys, welcome to the biggest problem. Ooh, man. Uh, my first problem <laughs> is uh, going... You think the quartering will help Riley raise money just, for his defense? I hate all these people from the bottom of my heart. I don't yeah. know what to do with any you of them. You think it's a little team girl squad? I keep, wait I keep waiting for like a small semblance of basic human dignity from these people. Mm -hmm. And there's none of it to be found. No. Okay. I was thinking about it in my head. I said, what, what, okay. If we're, if we're assuming there's sides, right? There's sides. There's okay. Sides. So one side made fun of a comic book, uh -huh. put stickers on a door, yeah. uh, and went and took a picture of a gravestone. A well, picture. Riley didn't do that though. And they Still, accused him of pissing on the grave. I know Riley didn't do first. it, but supposedly. And then Riley said, yeah, I pissed on the grave. Sure. Supposedly our side took a picture of a gravestone. Yeah. Right. We did do that. We did. We definitely took a picture of a grave. That definitely happened. Our side. Okay. Their side. Look at I would like. Cheese, <laughs> I know. I, cheese, thought, I know, Mr. Knox. Oh, shit. What the fuck? All right. So a lot's going on. Cheese. <laughs> Except we didn't have. Cheese was a delicacy back in I the know times was. I was I in. I know, Mr. Knox. Because of slavery. Their side has. Oh, I'm celebrating Juneteenth, Vito. <laughs> with some cheese. Some cheese some down cheese. there. Yeah. Get some beautiful cheese down there. Well, if Mr. Isama tries to screw his microphone back God in. God damn it. Uh, their their side has called everyone pedophiles and dog fuckers, has threatened lawsuits, mm -hmm. and gotten people arrested. Oh, I forgot Eric when he threatened to sue us. 
How do you forget that? I don't know, man. I don't care about any of that shit. So I just don't understand how Keep going. people go, well, you guys are ruining his business. And I go, he is. Because <laughs> they're a cult. That's why. Because they're a cult, Vito. That's I'm sorry. Why. I'm not sorry. His comic is bad. I find it. People are like, why are you so obsessed? I go, I don't know, man. When a guy raises millions of dollars with the worst comic I've ever read, like, I kind of want to talk about it. I find it interesting. Same reason I talk about Star Wars. Mm. But all I wanted to do was talk about the, st the stupid plot of the fucking dumb Look at how comic. sad Vito is. Look at how sad Eric has made Vito. Nice guy. I'm holding in. I'm holding all of in. your Italian rage. I'm holding your in. Your Casa Nostra rage. You know, honestly. I've never seen it before, but honestly, that's what it is. the Italian people can fly off the handle. And uh, it takes it takes a lot. Actually, it it's takes a good lot. when they're flying off the handle. When they're not flying off the handle, I would get worried. <laughs> yeah, when we're cold and calculated, that's a little scarier. I'm holding in a lot. I'm holding in a lot. <laughs> Everything's going to work out. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CAC of Remember to like and subscribe.